What's good? Y'all know who I know what time it is, man. We finna break you off with another video. Constantly, consistently uploading. Man, this is gonna be more of an informational video. Um, I have a lot of people asking me questions. How I did it. Should I do keto, intermittent fasting, anabolic diet, heavyweights, lightweights? I mean, the questions are there. Uh, so I'm going to just break it down why I did it, uh, what was my breaking point, uh, and just dibble and dabble on each uh, topic. So uh, without further ado, let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so the first one I got to come to is what was my breaking point? What made me decide to want to change my life and commit to this lifestyle? Because I'm going to let you know first and foremost that this is a lifestyle. So if you are not committed or you're, you're not really there mindset, then you're going to fail. Because uh, you got to defeat your mind first. Because there's going to be points in the gym where your body's hurting and you're just going to feel like you can't do it. So you're just going to have to fight through it keep pushing it trust me the results will speak for themselves and you're not gonna walk away with a six-pack like that you're just not it didn't you didn't just wake up fat so it takes time and you have to be patient but once you start getting the results it, you, you're gonna be addicted to it like i am so my breaking point was uh if i can find a picture of it i will post it in the video um I was in the uh, checkout line at Walmart with the wife, and uh, I was big, so bending over and putting on my socks, you had to hold your breath. And I'm sure if you can, if you're watching this video and, and you got some weight on, you know what I'm talking about. So there was this little ass scene on TV device that uh, that helps you put your socks on. And uh, so I, I put it in the cart, and I was fitting to buy it, and something just snapped in my head and was like, "Nah, come on, man, it's time to do this." Uh, so uh, that's what I did. Um, so I, I, I took it out the car and uh, put it back on the shelf. And Sorry about that. The wife was calling. She's on the way home from work. But like I said, I came back home. And uh, back then, I used to stream on Twitch. And I will put up a little uh, screen of my old Twitch uh, streams when I was big. Like, it was crazy. Like, you couldn't even see this part of the chair. But uh, so I was always in a party chat with a couple of my homeboys playing 2K. Um, and uh, one of my homeboys... I owe everything to his name is Demetrius Campbell um, he kept telling me to do it and I always put it off and he supported the streams and if you watch the streams back then you seen I was constantly eating so uh, so he kept telling me to do it and then finally when I came home that night and I told him I was like yo I think I'm gonna do it and by this point it was December something so I've already been quitting smoking cigarettes for what June July August September October November December seven months because I quit back in May of 2010 Oh, not 2010, sorry, May 10, uh, 2018. So seven months before I started losing, started to do my weight loss. And he was like, you can you can do it, man. I, I, I'll be here. I'll show you the way. I'll tell you how to do it. Uh, but you got to put the, the effort in. So, that, so that's what I did. So December 31st, uh, Planet Fitness opened up 10 minutes from my, from my home. And then I know what some people are saying. Oh, man, Planet Fitness, you can't see results there. You can't do this. You tell me that. I'm living proof of it. And now I go to a different gym. I go to two gyms. So when I want to live heavy and, and, and do light reps, and we'll explain that in the, later in the video. But uh, so December 31st, I went to Planet Fitness and I signed up. Me and my wife did. Actually, my wife signed up before I did. Uh, so uh, that was the start of the journey. Um, and I changed my lifestyle completely. So the speculations of you got people out there talking about keto, uh, intermittent fasting, and then our anabolics picking up, and, and, and it's a very nice diet. Uh, you just have to make healthier choices, and you can still eat, but you can't just go crazy with it. But um, So what I did was I cut everything out my life, and what I mean by that is... My my kryptonite was sweet tea. I drank sweet tea from the time I got up to the time I went to bed. Uh, so I cut that out. I cut out sodas. I only drank water. Then then I started with the food. So I wanted to cut out all the fast food for starters. Uh, I wanted to eliminate as much carbs as possible because carbs is what your body uses for energy. And I'll get back into that in the later in the video. But I wanted my body to use this fat. For energy and the more I can get my body to tap into the fat the more I lost and the more I would lose um, so I cut out all the fast food because when I went to work that morning or every morning I would go to uh, McDonald's and get the two for three 
uh, a couple of sausage burritos and I mean I probably had over 1500 calories in breakfast at McDonald's just in the morning and then lunch I went to Zaxby's I went to uh, cookout there's a place called cookout uh, and they got like a five dollar tray and that's and I was busting them down daily and then dinner I mean and then come home and just play PlayStation that's all I did constantly play PlayStation so I didn't have a lot of activity so what I did was I wanted to revamp my, my diet because basically, guys, if you want to lose weight, it's calories in versus calories out. You got to burn more calories than you take in. Simple as that. I mean, there's just no there's just no way to do it. And you can do it slowly. Like, let's say if you were normally taking in 3,000 calories a day, just cut it back to 2,000 and then you're already taking away 1,000 calories, which you're used to. But so I don't get off track. So what I did was my morning breakfast was two boiled eggs. I boiled eggs every the night before, put them in a little container, and I ate two boiled eggs every morning. And that was protein, protein, sorry. Uh, and that held me off and it kept me full. For some reason, it kept me full until lunch. And then lunch, I would have a, a, a salad. And then come home, go to the gym, and I would do cardio out this world, guys. If you want to lose weight, that's another key thing. Cardio, cardio, cardio. So uh, I did about 45 minutes of cardio every day. And then I lifted weights. And I lifted light weights at first and just high reps. And then I slowly started getting heavier and heavier with the weights. But uh, for dinner, I would normally eat a, a grilled chicken breast and green cabbage and bacon in that. That was my dinner. So I went from eating five to 6,000 calories a day to about 1200 to 1500 calories a day plus the working out i was more active i didn't come home i didn't really stream i don't think i streamed at all well i lied uh about halfway into it when i lost a lot of weight i, I, I fired up my stream so people could see it but uh i just didn't didn't want to come in here and sit down i wanted to con i just i just didn't want to stop so that's what my i say for the first two months my routine was two boiled eggs for uh, breakfast for lunch was a salad uh for dinner was a grilled chicken breast with a green cabbage and and guys when i say i cut out carbs i cut out all carbs and this is before i, I learned that there's good carbs and bad carbs but what i did was basically i did the keto and what let me break keto down keto is a high fat medium protein low carb basically 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day so i cut out potatoes uh i cut out grits pastas breads uh man i just i just didn't want carbs and the only carbs i really ate was from fresh green vegetables i didn't eat no canned goods or nothing and then so after two months of that i i really got into keto real hard and keto is when you deplete your inner energy source in your body imagine each muscle is a gas tank and it's full you eat a bunch of carbs it fills up your body uses that for energy as you're going through the day so when you take out carbs all that depletes and pretty much is running on empty then your body has to tap into your fat for energy to 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 basically live so when i depleted my carbs and just barely ate carbs that's what i did i made my body eat itself basically i mean in, in, in a nutshell and i did cardio out this world stair master stair master stair masters it was to the point where i was doing so much stair masters that i had to look down to uh make sure i was even lifting my legs so i did keto for i did keto the whole time but i did keto by itself probably for like two months and then I started getting into intermittent fasting. And that's when it just skyrocketed with the weight loss. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, you, if you read the internet, a lot of people don't like fasting. Um, they don't believe in it. But why I like fasting is because before grocery stores, before fast foods, when when this time started, whether you, however you believe it started, there was a time where we had to hunt for food. So uh, you couldn't run out and go grab a, a, a McDonald's burger. You had to hunt for your food. So there was times where you fasted for several hours, days, before you got your meal. Remember, guys, you can go a pretty dis a dec a decent time without food. It's water is what you can't live without. Um, so there was a time in human history that you fasted and and think of the word when you wake up and you eat breakfast think of the word break fast that's what you're doing 
And a lot of people ask me about intermittent fasting. Would you do the 14 hour? Did you do the 16 hour? Did you uh, do the 20 hours? Well, I started with the 16 and it takes time to get used to. Because it's going to get to the point, guys, where you just feel drained. And it, you're, it, it, it blew my mind that you don't have to eat food for a, a long periods of time and go, be able to go do your normal activities without falling out. Because there was times, guys, when I was overweight where I couldn't even go 30 minutes to an hour without eating and I would get the shakes. So without a week of intermittent fasting, and, and to break this down, uh, my main question about fasting is, is when do you fast? To me personally, the best way I can to help you understand it is fasting to whatever your schedule is. So the easiest way to fast to me is during your sleep hours. So if you go to sleep at like let's say eight o'clock in the at night, you're sleep till seven in the morning, just hypothetically. So from eight to seven, that's eleven hours right there that you didn't eat. So that's eleven hours of fasting that you already knocked out and you were sleeping. So you wake up and go another six hours. So you wake up at 7, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. At 2 p.m., you, that's when you have your first meal, so you did your 16 hours of fast. Um, we'll get more into what intermittent fasting is, but you got some people that fast for two or three days. So I mixed keto with intermittent fasting and, and, and a lot of cardio and a lot of working out. Um, and, I gotta, and I'll put it in the video right here. Of my um, my weight my weight loss because uh, I weighed myself every Sunday. I woke up in the morning, took a piss, and weighed myself because you're at your truest body weight then. So I weighed myself every Sunday, and you can see there was times I was losing 10, 15, 10, 15, 15, 20 pounds a week. And then I hit a plateau one time, and I think when you see the little the, the breakdown, you're gonna see it, it it kicked back up. And I think that's when I started intermittent fasting. So you got to switch it up, guys. You're going to hit a plateau because your body learns to adapt. Um, I got a lot of questions, so I will do a Q&A video. Uh, drop a comment down in the below if you want to ask me a question, and I will answer it during the Q&A. But I just wanted to do a video of explaining certain stuff because there's so much stuff out there on the Internet. Uh, you got videos on YouTube where it says, Target this area for body fat loss. I'm sorry guys to break your heart in a nutshell you can't target no particular area to lose fat you can do abs all day every day 24 7 you never see abs abs is body fat you have to lower your body fat percentage before you even see abs think about it guys when we're all born think of that little kid running across the street or across the yard he's got abs we just over time put a layer of fat between them so abs is in the kitchen i don't care what you watch or what they tell you there's no magic pill you can take to have abs or lose weight you have to want it you have to put in the hard work you have to want it you have to grind it's a lifestyle i love it i'm glad i did it i feel so much better i can breathe i can breathe there was times where uh you would hear me on certain videos when i was overweight just <sighs> You would hear me breathe and it, it, it's just crazy and another reason why i lost weight because i didn't want to do nothing dude my wife would want to go do something uh my back would hurt while we were walking around the mall i argued with her on my anniversary because we was going to a nice restaurant and we had to park a couple blocks away because it, where we where we the place is at there's no parking in front so i we argued well i argued because i didn't want to walk i didn't want my back to hurt uh there was times where we argued about food because I was so strict about my diet. Like, it didn't matter if it went to the grocery cart. I was reading the nutrition on the back and just making sure it didn't have this. Uh, cut out all sugars. I forgot to tell you that too, man. I cut out all sugars. But this is just a part one series of the explanation of keto intermittent fasting. What I did, how I did it, when I did it. So I'm a breakdown workout. Uh, so this is just, let's just say this is part one, series one of the informational part of this channel. A diet, sometimes you just, you don't, you don't succeed with a diet because it feels like you're starving yourself. But with the anabolic diet, basically you, you can eat. You just have to make the right choices. So guys, if you like what you're watching, man, make sure you hit that like button because it makes the video goes up. Comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It means more to me than you know. And I'm hoping I'm inspiring people to, 
to get up and change their lives. I really hope I am. Uh, I know I ramble some of this video and I, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna cut anything out. I just want it straight to the point. We're at like 15 minutes now. So uh, guys, I, I love y'all. Thank you for the support. Y'all know who I be.